What we're really trying to figure out is if you look at the odds of a German uh, replacing Mario Draghi, the market are skeptical because of the hawker stance we heard from the German side for such a long time. I is there anything that, that the Germans, and I'm thinking of course Jens Weidmann, can do now to better his chances of succeeding Mr. Draghi? Well, I think uh, that uh, it will depend on the sharing of political posts, and, and this is very difficult for forecasts. I'm not sure I have anything specific to say on that. Uh, on the economics of it, um, I think the judgment on uh, whether to have Mr. Weidmann or someone else uh, will depend on how much it is felt that the DCB has to continue doing in terms of unorthodox policies. Uh, because uh, these unconventional policies will be more difficult uh, to be conducted by a person like, uh, like Weidmann. And if there is a need of it, it would not be wise uh, to have uh, him uh, as a chair, uh, as president of the, uh, of the ECB. If instead it is felt uh, that uh, the unconventional time is over, uh, then it would be much easier to have him as uh, president of the ECB. Do, do you believe the unconventional time is over and how the markets react to the appointment of Mr. Weidmann as head of ECB? Well, I think that uh, if Mr. Weidmann uh, is uh, chosen, uh, he will be immediately tested by the market. Uh, because, of course, it's known that he opposed uh, the, uh, the OMT, and he did that uh, quite uh, openly. Uh, and the market would want to know uh, whether he is uh, still in that opposition mode or whether he would accept. Uh, OMT uh, and uh, that uh, they will try and find a way uh, to get this message from yeah. him.